In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can bomb the cover six over the top for a one play touchdown. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you right now to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day on YouTube. Alright guys, so in this video, like I said, I'm talking about how you can bomb the cover six defense. I think that the cover six defense is one of the better defenses, um, especially for defending gun bunch at this point in the season. Not as many people know how to beat it. So I wanted to give you a beater out of the gun bunch and give you kind of an, um, a tool at which you can basically bomb the cover six. And there's really two plays that I want to go over. The first one is going to be verticals and the second one is going to be clear out SE out. And we're talking about cover six. Basically, what cover six is, is it's cover four palms to the cover four side, and then it's cover two sink to the cover two side. So on the right side of the bunch, we're going to be facing cover four palms, and on the left side of the bunch, we're going to be facing cover two sink. So that's kind of a way that you can kind of think about it that will help you, I think, be a little bit more successful in beating it. So we're going to choose to play Gun Bunch Verticals out of Seattle. And if you've not gotten my Gun Bunch Offensive Guide yet, I want to encourage you to do that. Um, you know, pretty much every player will tell you that this year has been the best year in the history of Madden for the shotgun bunch offense. It's the best offense and it's the best offense and better than it's ever been uh, in this year's game. So that being said, my first ebook of the year was to equip all of you guys with a bunch ebook. And we actually based out of Seattle, and there's a ton of other stuff in the Seattle playbook that is really effective. We're going to be updating that into the guide over the course of the next couple of weeks. But we've also been adding in other concepts from other gun bunches in case you want to run Carolina or Indianapolis or Washington, some of the other better gun bunches in the community. That being said, guys, if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide, there's a link in the description that will take you to my website. You can get that guide for just 15 bucks. So head on down in the description and go ahead and grab that. Okay, guys, so uh, as far as cover six goes, this is really, really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver and we're going to streak the square receiver. And what you're going to see here is we're just going to motion circle out. And if they're in cover six, this R1 receiver is going to absolutely obliterate the cover six coverage. As you can see right there, really simple and really, really effective at beating the coverage. Okay. So the next cover, let me show you that one more time. So um, especially if they do something like this, like you'll see from time to time, like they'll press or they'll, you know, bring safeties into the box or, you know, something like that. You'll see this is just a, this is just such a super, super consistent beater. As you'll see right here, he'll get initially jammed, but that middle linebacker will basically get sucked down by the running back, which is a bug in the game. They need to fix that because that shouldn't happen, but it does happen. And it's even better if you put the running back on an in route. Let me show you this. So if we put the running back on the in route, there literally won't be anything they can do. Um, you'll see right here. Running back, see that linebacker doesn't even ever attempt to go to him. And as you can see, we're able to beat the cover six over the top for a one play score. Okay, so that's the first way that we're going to manipulate cover six. The second way is really when they start to get savvy, maybe they man somebody up or they're rolling coverage to the bunch side. And really, what this is going to do, like what I most common adjustment that I would think they would do, is they'll take this backside guy. And that might be their user or whatever, but they're going to man him up onto the R1 receiver. That's pretty much very common adjustment uh, for this play. So that's when I like to go to clear out SE out. And what we're going to do with clear out SE out is we're just going to take the running back, put him on a table route. I like to go ahead and streak the R1 just so that I really have a, a, a heavy attack on that side so they have to go get it. But really what you're going to see here is the square receiver is going to torch the cover six, just passing this to the left. And as you can see, you can get this little swerve catch on the sideline and be in a really good position to absolutely obliterate the cover six coverage. Now, uh, another little trick that you can do if you wanted to use the play verticals is you can put the running back on an out route. And the reason why we like this is because now we've got the cover six beater on both sides because now this square receiver is on the stock fade. Just the only problem with that is it doesn't, you see how it doesn't fade to the outside. That's the biggest problem with that route. So it's not super open um, against the cover six. That's why I like to go with clear out. But anyways, um, what you'll see is the square receiver just passing that. You're just basically passing him to the sideline. It's essentially a cover two beater is really what we're building here. 
but you'll see right here, just put the running back on an out route. They're really good this year. Pass lead it to the left, and you see you get this little swerve catch on the outside. Now, that one's a little bit of a tighter throw. I would recommend um, another little thing that you can do if you wanted to is you could put the running back on a swing route. You'll see that it'll get the attention of the corner a little bit earlier, and you can get this out there a little bit sooner. The other thing that I would tell you real quick on this is this is also really good if they – um, if they press their coverage or if they bring people into the box, the more people they bring down, this is really where this play is going to shine because you're going to see here just passing it hard to the left side. You get that animation right there and you see it's an easy dot. Now, um, as far as like a later, like a, like a later read on this, I don't think that this is a great play um, in terms of like a lob streak. You're not going to be able to lob this ball. But if you hard pass lead it to the left, you see that you can kind of get skinny on that outside on the left side of the field, okay? So that being said, guys, that's pretty much the cover six beater uh, from Gun Bunch. But I wanted to go over another one. Um, and this is primarily for situations where they're gonna man up the R1. What I like to do is I like to motion out circle, and I'm just gonna simply streak the tight end, put the running back on the in route. And what you're gonna see here is this tight end streak We'll occasionally glitch it out, but if it doesn't, this running back in route is super glitchy uh, against this, you know, really simple, really, really effective, very easy to manipulate. Okay, so we can easily just take this running back in route if everything goes, if, if, if things don't go right out of cover six, especially if they man up their three rec on R1, which is a common adjustment, you're going to see that it's going to kind of manipulate that quarter flat and there's going to be nobody down there to take the back. As you can see, easy reads against cover six. So really one of my favorite pieces of advice for people, if you ever run into someone that's running a lot of cover six, this setup right here is really hard to stop in cover six because the running back the running back in route is really, really good. The three rec really isn't gonna cover it. He'll like act like he's gonna cover it, but he really doesn't stop it. And that's that's another reason why I really like that, that concept. Um, as far as the tight end, another little trick that you can do, let's say that they're manning up, you know that they're manning up the slot. Um, another little thing that you can do is basically turn this into flood. Um, and what I, what I mean by that is you're going to take your slot and you're going to put him on a smart routed out route. And let's see if I can get the player to fix itself. There we go. So you get this wheel route, out route con combination, which is a really good combination, as well as this X tight end. So you see here this out route really goes at it then you see how open the out route is right there i didn't i didn't throw it but the out route gets wide open against the coverage the other thing that you're going to get um is if you leave whoops i messed up um if you leave the if you leave that tight end on the vertical not the stock vertical but you just put him on like a fade what i found is that you get this out route and they'll basically swap exchange so you could, if it, essentially what you can get is something like this against cover six. And you see how that tight end, it, it almost glitched him out. It didn't quite on that play, but um, occasionally that tight end will glitch out. I just want to say that. And then one last thing against cover two um, is this left side, a concept that you can use. So you run this, and then I like this on the left side. You just streak the running back, and you put the square receiver on a um, out route. If they're, if they're manning up that vertical hook onto the R1, even if they're not, um, this running back route gets in a really tender spot. I mean, you see here, just pass it inside, and you've got yourself a really good dot against cover six. Let me show that to you if the vert hook stays over there, just so you can kind of visualize what will happen. So this time, the vertical hook's going to stay over there, and what you'll see is he's not going to match him. So, you know, really, if you think about it, cover six... If you actually think about it, cover six is not match to the left. It's or, um, is not match. It, it doesn't match very well, anyways, to the left side. Meaning the vertical hook zone isn't going to go with the running back streak. It probably should, but it won't. So you can just easily pass lead that inside. And of course, I threw that just a little bit too too early, but you could just pass lead that inside and have a really a really significantly. I mean, just very good read. The other thing you can do if you want to, is you can motion in the square receiver. So you do something like this, and against cover six, your wheel gets wide open on the sideline. So there's a lot of ways to manipulate cover six. 
But I do think that you're going to see that it's going to rise in popularity. And the reason why, I think it is one of the better defenses. But the reason why it's going to be so good is because you're going to see that, you know, people aren't going to be able to, um, you know, they're not going to be able to cover the, the bunch flooding concepts that are so good. You see here, this flood route just kills it if I can make a catch. So they're going to start to shift to something like a cover six. But anyways, that's the video. If you guys want to get my full offensive guide, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's on sale for just 15 bucks, so super affordable. There's a link in the description, so if you just head down there um, after you watch the video, you can click the, the link for my website, and it'll take you right to the place where you can get the guide. So it's super simple. It probably takes like five minutes to pick it up. And again, this guide will help you get better on offense. It really will. It will make it so that your offense really, honestly, should never get stopped in Madden. It, it gives you all the setups that the pros are using. It gives you all the setups that I think that are very effective as well. And it really is, um, it's basically like carving, right? It's like carving meat. You're just carving them up over and over and over again. Um, you can beat the defense in so many ways. You can bomb them over the top. You can take your check downs. You can play, um, you know, five yards in a cloud of dust. We actually have a phenomenal running scheme out of the ace as well. Um, the ace personnel. So a lot of good stuff in there, guys. I would encourage you to check out the guide. Again, there's a link down in the description below that'll take you right to the website. And if you want to get that guide, it's just 15 bucks. Thanks for your support. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys later.